What's up guys? It's your boy Chef from Off The Dome. Back in from another video. And yes, it is cold inside here. That's why I'm at this hoodie on. Man, this fall stuff hit me hard, man. But today we're talking about Wale and how he made a comeback with Jeremiah. Wale, he's basically been falling off and basically going into irrelevancy since 2016. The peak of his career was no doubt, I believe, when he made um, my personal favorite album is the album about nothing. That's my first favorite Wale album. Forget about ambition. Ambition is decent, six out of ten. But the album about nothing is like a seven and a half out of ten, man. And the gifted, gift is okay. Bad was a decent single. Um, he had a couple other songs out there, but the album about nothing. That was a album I felt that matched the mixtapes and matched the energy he should have. The single choices off that body like a Jeep. Of Jeremiah, like Wale and Jeremiah has always been a vibe. So the fact that his like hit that's getting him back into relevancy is with Jeremiah. That's the perfect choice because he had that way with Jeremiah. I believe it was um the body he had. It's another song, man. I'm missing it. It's him and Jeremiah just it's always been collaborating together. So it's natural for them to be together. Of course, Wale's always been a more of a soulful rapper. I said it once, I said it again. He could have been the dark skinned Drake with the dreads. He basically had the same poetic type vibe with his music. Arguably a better rapper than Drake, I believe, when it comes to the rapping side. Um, Wale was my favorite rapper for about three years straight until he started. When he made, after I'm out enough, when he started doing those singles and started trying to get another hit, he was chasing hit for years, making twerk songs, um, Pretty Young Thing, the remix. He tried that. I hated that song. It was a terrible thing. That's why I thought he fell, he fell off. And I know that this hit yes with Jeremiah on Chill is a one-time thing. I know there's nothing else that's really going to come after this. But it's just good to see my boy back on the charts, man. This single works for all the right reasons. It's a single. You, it's a late-night vibe song. The type of vibes you get from Khalid when you listen to him late night, man. I love that vibe. The instrumental, the sample from the um, classic hit. Wale versus Connect on this. Jeremiah has always been a great, proficient singer, man. That's why I never will ever say Jeremiah fell off because he always consistently stays on hits. He always consistently stays on features on people's albums. Every time he gets on the hook, he rocks that. I, that's why I think him, Ty Dolla Sign, they're some of the two most underrated R&B acts of the 2010s, man. And Jeremiah continues to show us that he's not only a dude that made birthday sex back in 2011, he's still here in 2019 making bangers. So I respect that. And Wale, by him making this vibe at the right time, by him releasing it in the summertime, it started growing people. And now it's going to be a great fall, winter hit. It, it has that smooth, soft vibe about it. It could go for any season of the year. So I think it will do great. It's already number 23 on the Hot 100. It's probably going to go platinum soon. The radio is playing it. People are playing it in their cars. They're playing at, when you dance in the club. They're playing it when they jam on iTunes sessions. It's getting streaming numbers. I doubt there's anything he's going to do after this that's going to top this. Because this is basically matching his hit with um, Tierra Thomas Bad. Wale is just a sample artist. Well, hip-hop is a sample type of genre. But most of Wale's biggest hits usually involve some type of sample. So this is him once again using the sample the correct way. And like Rick Ross said in an interview with Joe Budden on the pull-up, he's right. MMG as a whole collective, the three main, main ones, their version of Nick Minaj, Drake, and Lil Wayne. Ross has a new album out, Port of Miami 2. I think it was a good album. And then performed commercial like everybody thought it would, but debuted at number two. They got decent streaming and sales numbers. Meek Mill's the biggest he's ever been. He's the Drake of the label right now. And Wale, he's the... <laughs> I guess he's a Nick... He, he's the very, 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 very small-scale Nick Minaj version. He's doing something that Nick Minaj can't. At least he has a hit on the charts. They ain't trying to stick around. At least this is sticking around. So, that's all I got to say, man. Let me know what you think about Wale's new single. And do you think this is his comeback? Like, his version of what Meek Mill, Tyga, and all these other guys have had with comeback hits. Do you think he would have anything else to do after this? I personally don't think nothing else would catch fire like this. I mean, this is something that he's been trying for three years. His last hit was in 2016 2019. He's been trying three years desperately to find a hit. I'm glad he found one. And as for my boy Jeremiah, he always goes platinum or 
or double platinum eventually. His album Late Nights only debuted number 44, but over the course of a year, it still went platinum. So Jeremiah knows how to sell a single, sell an album. He knows how to do all that stuff. He's a bubbler type of artist. You might not catch on to when he first drops it that first month or first two months, but after a while, you're going to bang with his stuff and you're going to scream and you're going to realize you'll listen to his stuff. Anyway, that's Chef from Off the Dome, man. Um, I think you should do something. I forgot. Oh, yeah, that thing. You see that red button right there? You should subscribe so you get more videos like this every day. Peace out.